Consider supporting Dan and the Firemen on Patreon for just $1 a month. More information in the link below. What's up everybody, Dan Dan the Fireman here. I just filled up, got a full tank of gas, and we're gonna be doing an auto-tune session of the Fuel Pack FP3. I have my phone right here. Uh, it's not that menu. We'll go to this menu. Okay, we are ready. So I already paired up my Fuel Pack to my FP3. I've done this a few times, so there is actually links in the description to my whole how to use the Fuel Pack, how to use the auto-tune feature. There's gonna be a link in the description to all that stuff, but what I need to do is do a auto tune of the vo2 air intake i have the vo2 air intake with the vance and hines mini grenades and i already did a vance and hines mini grenades uh auto tune basically or a tune process uh to the short shots but i need to auto tune those with the air intake that way i'm not running you know lean or rich or whatever it is so what actually we're going to do we see it here and we'll look at my maps real quick i deleted all my old ones that's why you see one two and three as uh, available zero is the default sock map that i had on this bike when i first got it um right here the short shot staggered standard baffle stock 1200 cc is what vance and heinz recommended for the mini grenades because the mini grenades were not in here um under the available maps so what we're gonna do and i, and I have my visor down because it's really windy and i don't want it to get too sorry i mean it's gonna sound muffled while we're while we're talking here but what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to auto tune so i don't need to mess with that so we'll just click auto tune now it's going to read the tables um for the slot what's currently available so i paired up my uh, mini grenades to the standard sh um, short shots which is what was re recommended and now i'm going to auto tune the short shots or the mini grenades to um basically function well with an air intake and with the bike better so that's what the auto tunes for that's what you want to do when you have a new air intake now the air intake is like super loud i could just hear it. it's like boop, 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 boop. and uh it's just like it's sucking in air so i really need to auto tune this now it says what do i want to auto tune to now i can either do the default stock map which is the original nothing on the bike or the short shots we will do the short shots now we're just going to do um i've already done auto tune before i know how to do it so we're just gonna do a quick setup this will be the easiest thing you could do. Now, this is just saying that it might affect your engine performance and all that stuff. So ride safe, be careful, be smart and all that. So we're gonna do this. Um, right now the bike is on. It's been on since I started this video. I just haven't turned it on the engine, the, the battery and everything's been on because I have the auto tune, or not the auto tune, but the fuel pack right here connected into uh, the ECM. So now it's initializing the auto tune features. All right, so we're gonna do this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ride down normal traffic, uh, just normal um, afternoon. It's 12:26 right now, so it's gonna be stop and go traffic. A lot of commute stuff that I normally do, but I'm gonna head towards the interstate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up. Okay, it says turn off your bike for 15 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna do that while, and I'll explain what I'm gonna do when it comes to this. Make my way to the interstate, and I'm gonna uh, gun it. And I'm gonna uh, go higher speeds, better, more throttle response, uh, get get up to speed about 80 miles an hour, which is the standard. 75 miles an hour, which is the standard here. And I'm gonna get off the interstate, do it again, get off the interstate, and then come back home. And I'm gonna do this over the course of um, one to two gas tanks of fuel. Um, I'm not gonna do it all today, but I'm gonna go do that, come home, and then I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna ride the other way in town. And just do some other stuff. Now the thing is, okay, the auto tune setup is complete. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The auto tune. Now it says RPM and TPS. TPS is the throttle response. Let's go ahead and do that while I'm t while I'm riding, because this is what it's going to look like when you first start. Highly recommend getting a RAM mount so you can have your phone here. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can actually put your phone away. Uh, it's doing the auto tune process already. You can actually uh, DC your phone from Bluetooth from the FP3. You don't even have to worry about it. And, but this is, I want to show you guys what I'm actually doing. You hear that wub? It's like sucking air. Now, I'm expecting the bike to run like crap right now. Um, I'm going to probably have a lot of D-cell pops because it's really trying to fix and figure out the system. Now, if you notice on the screen, on the, the phone, that thing bouncing around, that's the RPM and my throttle which is the position that is moving. And what we want to get is green. Green is good, that's what we want. Orange is good, but green is better. 
so what I'm going to be doing is uh, one gas tank basically with this and I'm going to do another gas tank um, just doing some other stuff and just riding around letting it run letting it uh, learn the system right now it's not learning anything because I'm at a red light so the RPM is about $1,200, $1,300 or $1,300, $1,300 0% on the throttle because I'm not using any throttle so what we're going to do is just continue on and do this and I'm going to cut out a lot of this stuff and I know because a lot of it's going to be just me riding around trying to get the system to learn so we're going to do some editing and all that stuff so you're going to start seeing some orange values and the bike's not going to run the greatest it's running really lean or something oh there's some uh it felt like I ran out of gas you know it, it like bucked me a little bit so right now it's doing its thing it's going to take a little while for it to start learning but once it starts learning once you start seeing some orange and greens um, it's gonna it's gonna get better and better and better and better So I'm just gonna let uh, this film the whole time and then once we start getting some numbers And uh, I'll start explaining a little bit more of that So don't be discouraged if you don't have any greens and oranges right away because it's still it's still learning It's still working on it. There we go. We're starting to get some oranges So we got oranges in the 2000 rpm range with the 5 to 10 percent uh, throttle and I'm only going about 45 miles an hour um, I'm kind of behind this person. So this is the typical range that you're going to be having when you're commuting. Uh, so if you're going a little bit slower, your, your throttle response will be a bit lower, your RPMs will be a bit lower. But right now it is orange. So after a while, if you start staying in those ranges, uh, you'll get green. That's why I like having the phone up here is that way I can kind of see where I need to go, but also at the same time focus on the road. So every once in a while I'll look down and kind of get an idea of where you know, I need to go. So I need to stay like at the 35, 45 mile an hour range with the same five to 10% throttle response until I get those green. But that will happen with typical commute range, uh, riding. So, so here's a little bit extra. See how I've dropped down, the RPMs went a little bit higher. Now when you, when you actually pull the throttle, uh, didn't move too much, but I can't pull the throttle too much because I don't want to speed. That's the thing, that's why you need to get on the interstate. On ramps and off ramps are really great for that. And then and maintaining that speed, um, slowing down and speeding up, you know, the speed limit's 75, so slow down to 65 if no one's behind you, speed up to 75, slow down, you know, just constantly playing with that. And it's a lot easier on interstates. I did it last time on some back roads, um, but it's a lot safer and a lot easier to do it on interstates. So that's why we're gonna go there today. But for right now, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this stuff run. I'm gonna cut out probably like 15, 20 minutes of this. Um, that's the great thing about this Yi 4K is that it, the battery lasts forever and I got a 128 gig memory card in there so it's not going to die on me. But um, I'm going to cut out a lot of this stuff and then when we get closer to the interstate, um, I'll let you guys know and there's going to be updates to all this stuff. So I'm just going to let it run. It's a lot easier just doing that. My bike is running a little bit lean because um, it's, it's just like sucking in a bunch of air and I'm getting some, uh, some backflow. Um, right now, as you can see, there's just a lot of orange. Uh, so in the upper, you know, the top and left is the slower speeds, the slower throttle, thro or, uh, um, lower RPMs. When you get to like interstate, like you're really accelerating, going through the gears, you're going to start going to the down and right. Um, that's what we're going to get to. That's why I need to get to the interstate because that is the safest place to do it. And that's where you're supposed to do it because that's the speed limit. So right now we're sitting at the red light. This has only been about five minutes of riding. Uh, so we still got some orange um, uh, learned values. We need green. And now the green might happen after like the second half of the gas tank. Right now it just it's still trying to learn. And that's what we're doing. We just want the bike to learn and kind of do run through the paces and get it tuned to the where it needs to go. But in order to do that, you have to go through all the as many ranges as you possibly can, which is you know the on ramps, um, you know the interstate, higher speeds, higher throttle, you know just more open up throttle, and then uh, not just um, commuting. So just don't do this and then like ride to work for like six gas tanks and you're only getting those values right there all green and then all of a sudden you want to open it up on the interstate or if you're going somewhere that's a little bit different um, you're not going to get the uh, the best you can get so the easiest way to do that if you don't have an interstate near you I just got up to 40 miles an hour which is the speed limit pretty quick and it knocked some of the uh, the throttle responses where the TPS was at the 40s 
um, and then the RPMs is at 3,500. So I was actually able to get some of that uh, just in town, but I mean, I can't go any faster than that or I'm gonna break the speed limit, which is not, I mean, you don't wanna do that while you're trying to, you know, uh, get your auto-tune done. You don't wanna pay for a ticket on top of the FP3 and your new air intake that you just got. All right, so another break, we're gonna, we're gonna head out um, and do some more stuff. I'm gonna tell you right now, my bike is a lot louder with the naked air intake and grenade cover. It, it's almost to the point where it's like, wow. <laughs> I wonder if that will change after the auto-tune. I don't know, who knows. Feeling a little bit of a decel pop on some of these, which is standard because it's, start, it's trying to learn. There we go, we got our very first green. We're at the 2510, or 2500 RPM with the 10% throttle response. That's our first green, that's what we want. We want greens. It's taken about uh, 14 minutes of riding in uh, normal traffic, so just think about that. Now I believe once we start uh, getting some greens, they're gonna be coming a lot quicker and a lot easier. Because the last time I did this was uh, with my Tracker 2 into 1. And I remember the same thing. I was like, why isn't there any greens? And all of a sudden I got like one green and then they all started coming in pretty quick. Uh, so this is a good first step. So just be aware of that, that it might take a while. It's like sucking in the air like crazy. That's so nuts. But I, I feel like I got a lot more power with the VO2 and the FP3. Just got to auto tune it to make it a lot better. Green number two, all right, we're starting to get there. We're starting to get there. Gotta watch for traffic. Don't focus on the, the auto tuning. I think it's nice to be able to see it, but you also wanna focus and be safe. The intersections are deadly for motorcyclists, guys. I wonder if I'm getting a ton of looks from people at stoplights because my bike is loud or it just look cool. I don't know. <laughs> Which one is it? Whenever you like stand or get at a stoplight and there's just like people looking at you and then you look at them and you have like a reflective visor they don't know and they like look away. I think it's pretty fun. Oh, I'm stuck behind a slow guy. Great. <laughs> Always got to do that under a tunnel or a bridge. They'll start learning the green ones real soon. I got about four of them right now. And it's gonna start learning them a lot quicker because I noticed after the first two, the other two are easy to get. And remember, you're supposed to do this over the course of one to two gas tanks worth of fuel. So depending on how many miles you get per tank, you could be doing this for over 100, 150, maybe even 200 miles. And you just gotta do it to let your bike find its thing. And before you know it, two gas tanks is not a lot. It's, it really isn't. See, there's already another green, so I got five green. Now, once I get to the interstate, it might be too much wind uh, to be able to hear me correctly. and might be too loud. I might have to yell. But if that's the case, I will annotate over um, some of this stuff. And I got to focus on driving because this guy's going to turn. And here we go. No one's going to come out. Cool. So I will annotate uh, kind of what I'm doing. But for the most part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the interstate. I'm going to try to, I'm going to use as much throttle as I can to get up to speed, like as quick as I can, because I really want that to be learned. I want that, because just in case, you know, you have to get out of somebody's way, you want that to be as powerful and best as you can. You're, you want your bike to be at that level. And then I'm going to ride on the interstate, um, drop down 10 below the speed limit, just kind of with the throttle, messing with the throttle, and then I'm going to try to go uh, back up to that speed limit. I'm just going to keep doing that back and forth as safe as I can. I'm going to keep an eye on the people behind me just in case I'm not messing with anything. I'm going to stay in the right lane, be safe about it. And I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that for a while. And then I'm going to do that again in a different day where I'm going to uh, wait to, to, to completely finish auto-tune once I've done it a few times. Um, I really want to have those learned values because I do take this thing off road, or not off road, but on long distances and I take it off road sometimes. And I really wanted to get those learned values. So I'm starting to get a lot more oranges in the higher rep or higher RPM and higher throttle response. I really need to get more and more and more and more. So I'm trying to get it through all those ranges as best as I possibly can. And uh, some of them you might not get. Some of them you might just get oranges. Um, but it's good to have as many greens as you possibly can. Let it run 
for as long as you can. So we're getting closer to the interstate right now and uh, I'll kind of just kind of show it to you and I might have to, uh, you know, lower the volume because it might be a little too loud. All right, here we go. So here's the goal right now is to, to throttle it up pretty good. Alright, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, the speed limit changed to 55 because it's construction zone. But as you can tell, I got some more oranges down there. So that's the goal is to, once I get back to the speed limit, which is normally 75, um, I'll be able to uh, gun it back up. So this is actually kind of working in my favor so I can slow down to the new speed limit, which is 55, and then gun it back up to uh, 75. So another thing you can do is you can actually get off on an exit, which I just did, and I'm gonna get back on the interstate, but going the other way. That way I'm not like traveling, you know, 50 miles one way and have to travel 50 miles back. Uh, this way I can actually just uh, focus on the acceleration on the on-ramp, and uh, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to think, um, but yeah, I can focus on the acceleration. Oh, this guy's turning left, what is he doing? So here we go, we're gonna try to um, open the throttle a little bit more, that way we can get some of those lower right um, values. Woo! So we got that bottom right one. That's at 60% uh, throttle opening. Dang, this bike is like so much faster now. This is the problem when you have vehicles. So what I'm gonna do is no one behind me, I'm gonna kinda of slow down. No one's behind me. Let's slow down a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and speed up. And I'm gonna just kinda of slow it down again. So I got that 2500 RPM at 80% uh, throttle because of that. So I'm gonna slow down again so I have some room ahead of me and I'm not, you know, pissing anybody off behind me and gun it again. You see what I mean when it comes to that? Kind of slow it down and then go back up so you get that full throttle opening. I really want those to be green. But that's not gonna happen right away. It's gonna take a little while. So no one's behind me. I got plenty of room ahead of me. Slowing down a little bit and here we go. Now it's not always about opening the throttle 100%. See, I need to have the 60s and 80s right there. So you kind of just open the throttle just to the 60s and 80s and uh, get those green values. So no one's in front of me, bunch of holes in the road though. Here we go. So this is normal cruising speed uh, for the interstate and the throttle for uh, when I go on distances. So what I, would, I really do want this section of what I'm at to be 100% um, you know, green. At the same time, I don't want to outrun my knobby tires. My knobby tires are only rated for a certain speed, so I have to keep an eye on all those things. There we go, there we go. Now, a lot of the stuff that I just did on the interstate, you can do on a back road. Um, you can easily do that on a back road. Be safe about it. Make sure the road that you're on doesn't have like massive potholes you have to worry about. Make sure it's actually a safe road. Um, but the problem with that is that you can run in the, uh, the, the area of uh, basically <laughs> getting a ticket. So the interstate's really nice to do because you can slow down, um, let's say the interstate speed is 75, you can slow down to 55 and then uh, work through the throttle responses, work through the RPMs that way. That's kind of what I did this whole time. That's why you see uh, so much orange and I don't have a lot of green because this is barely the beginning of my auto tune. I've been doing this for about 30 minutes now um, and it's definitely not a gas tank's worth. So we're still working on it. In fact, I'm 
gonna keep doing this. This is just part one. Um, part two will be a little bit shorter, um, and because that one I'm gonna uh, basically finish off, and I'm gonna skip basically like uh, 80 miles worth of uh, riding because. What I did is kind of what you just need to do, and then uh, part two will have me uh, showing you how to learn it. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna pull off on the side of the road up here somewhere. Let's find a safe spot. All right, I see a spot. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shut off the engine. So I'm gonna do, uh, use the kill switch. There we go. So I still have battery power. So the battery is still on the FP3 so I can finish uh, talking to you about this. So basically what's happening now, there we go, so you can still see the screen. Um, what you need to do, or what you don't need to do, is that you don't have to uh, have your phone hooked up all the time to the FP3. You can just like, you just start, all you need the phone for is to start the process and to end the process. So uh, we are in the process of auto-tuning. I can actually turn Bluetooth off of my phone. I can turn, I could just use my phone for something else. I don't have to use it for uh, auto-tuning. It automatically saves the values. So what I need to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and click back and auto-tune is active. Now, that's gonna stay like that until you deactivate it by clicking this right here and then going there. So don't worry about, um, There we go, it popped up. I, that kind of scared me for a second. <laughs> uh, don't worry about losing what you've learned already. Now you can click apply learned values and when you do that, it's actually gonna erase everything and you're kind of start off from scratch uh, on the screen, which is not a big deal, not a big deal at all. In fact, you know, I'll just show it to you right now. I'll show it to you right now. So we're gonna apply it. So now it says apply, so keep autotune active to improve your current map, finish to end the autotune session. So that's what you do when you finish. And I'll show you that in the next video. But what we're gonna do is apply. So let's say you want what we just did today to apply to everything right now. So let's go ahead and do that. That way it um, runs better in the meantime. Does that make sense? So uh, right now it's going to, same, same warning, it's going to affect your performance, ride safe, do all that stuff. So it's going to flash the new data to uh, the map that you wanted it to flash to. So I wanted it to, f okay. There we go. Oh, I think I, because I had the kill switch. So let's. All right. Here we go. So I put the cool. <laughs> I had to turn it back on. So there we go. See, we're learning stuff here still. So it's gonna auto. It's gonna uh, apply the new learned data to the Vance and Hines short shots or what the Vance and Hines wanted me to do for the mini grenades. So yes, we'll go ahead and continue. Um, and it's gonna apply this new learned data. So all the stuff I did, it's gonna make it run better in the meantime before I finalize it, which is what I like to do sometimes. So. I think this will be a little bit better. Uh, it's not as windy. So right now it says turn the bike off for 15 seconds. I keep getting text messages from my Moto Vlogger uh, WhatsApp group. <laughs> so keep the bike off for 15 seconds. So we're going to learn this. And then uh, part two is going to be when I'm like almost, I've almost done two gas tanks worth. I'm just going to let my phone or let the fuel pack run. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not going to worry about getting greens and all that stuff. Um, I'm just going to let it do its thing. And then um, the last, uh, basically half of a tank, so the last 50 miles, I'm actually going to focus on it again and try to get some more. But I just want to show you what it looks like when you uh, apply the learned values. There you go. It's done. Auto-tune changes have applied. Now, don't be worried. It's going to be, yep, there it is. It's disappeared. All the stuff that we just did today disappeared, but it's like, it's like you click the save button on the computer. It's there. You just can't see it. Um, so don't worry about that because when I click back, Auto tune is still active. It just it just applied all the stuff we did. I know this was a longer video. Part two is gonna be a little bit shorter. I have done uh, auto tunes for a different um, for my tracker two and one, and now I'm doing an auto tune for the uh, Vance and Hines uh, mini grenades, and I'm doing it for the VO2 air intake, which is right which is right here. Um, I did have an install video on that, so if you want to check that out, um, check it out, please, because it's it's a great. It makes the bike a lot more powerful, but it is a little bit louder, so I'm wondering if this will change it up. Um, but yes, this right here uh, is the auto tune is active. You can't view um, any maps while you're auto tuning, so that's not a big deal because we we figured it all out. But it's, it's this thing's pretty cool. I mean, you got maintenance right here, auto tune's active. Oh, so you can't do anything when auto tune's active. Let's see the sensor data. 
Uh, yes, 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 yes. So you actually have like a bunch of different things. You know, you got the miles per hour, horsepower, and all that stuff. So that might be something else I could jump into if you guys want. Uh, let me know in the description if you want me to mess around with the sensor data while while riding. Um, and that'll be something I could definitely do. But with that said, um, thank you so much for sticking with me on this. I Hopefully I was able to help you out. It is a longer video, but uh, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and please check out the Vance & Hines Fuel Pack FP3 in the description, the VO2 air intake and the grenade cover in the description, and the mini grenades in the description. And I will have the Vance & Hines FP3 app for Android and iPhone in the description also. So you, you need to do it if you're going to get an air intake and you need to do it if you're going to get uh, aftermarket exhaust. You need a fuel pack and you need to, to flash your map and you need to uh, auto-tune. But yeah, okay, I got to go. I'm going to go home and relax and edit all this. Uh, but yes, I'll see you guys later. Ride safe, be safe, and uh, bye.